What's going on, everybody? Brandon with Strict Vision Athletics here with Take Two, Ray Donovan, Jake Trout. Welcome back. Let's do this. Yeah. Dose. For those of you not paying attention to our Instagram, we did this podcast <laughs> an hour and a half ago and ran it all the way through, and I didn't hit record. <laughs> so, hope you enjoyed it. It's now gone forever. So, here we go again. Happened for a reason. This is going yeah, to be even better than the first one. Right? I will say this. When you and I redid the first three, <laughs> they did get better. You do kind of, if you're talking about the same sort of topic and you do it again and again and again, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah I'm not yeah. sure we can recreate all the topics we just talked about, no. but we can try. We can try. On that note, let's bring in Ray. Let's talk What's about coaches. No. First yeah. off, let's talk about you know what it is you've been doing. Right. You've been training. Yep. Talk about... You know, how's that worked for you? What kind of a training style do you gear more towards? Right, right, right. Yeah. Yeah, no, so I've been, you know, I've been training for a little while now. Um, but it's more about, so since I'm bouncing around from New York to LA mm-hmm. um, and to Canada, uh, everything's online. Yeah. Right? I'm a functional, I'm a functional trainer. Um, I'm push pull, big on recovery, uh, pre pulse natal, um, what I'm working with. Uh, women trying to come back from babies, athletes, actors. Um, everyone is, uh, you know, you, they take to my training. Everyone gets uh, gets the most out of it, and I just, you know, love the fact that I'm able to move around and it's a little bit more free now, yeah. right? You know, everyone's online now, and uh, yeah, as with coaches know, we just kind of want to. I, I with coaches know, we kind of want to hone in and hammer home the importance of uh trainers being able to know that they can get online they can run their business online and uh there's just strategies and things that you got to put in place before you uh set up that that yeah online platform absolutely and so you are coast to coast you're training out in la you're training in new york you're you're pretty much all over the place yeah Yeah. clients all over and you know virtual sessions online you know with the octane fit garage you know shameless plug right there heck yeah um you know um gotta uh you know just it's about you know we do what we do right i mean whether you're doing it from this beautiful facility we're here another shameless plug shout out strip vision athletics you know um thanks man gilbert gilbert arizona um get your fitness on up in here um <laughs> Yeah, no, whether you are you have a facility, whether you want to get online, it's just, you know, our main thing is to help people and get them to where they, they need to be, where they want to be. Yeah. So they'll feel good about themselves and feel good about what they're doing. And uh, you can do it from wherever, mm-hmm. right? And that's what, uh, you know, me and Jake coaches know want to yeah. make sure we, uh, that's our message that we're going to convey. To you can in- impact yeah. from all over. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah Jake, I, I was hoping you'd go a bit, bit more into that. What... What exactly do you see coaches know being able to specifically do for trainers? How's it going to improve the lives? Of, like, like, let's say I'm a trainer and I'm at LA Fitness and I'm two years in and I want to eventually branch out on my own. Why should I contact you? What is it that coaches know is going to do for me? Sure. So coaches know, and I think all the, all of the best things come out of some type of a need, some type of a demand. And so coaches know was really like, Hey, like I've worked with trainers, coaches, so is Ray. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, these trainers and coaches have something great to offer. Um, they have the potential to be extremely impactful, but they don't really know how to put the message out there. And, um, they don't understand, you know, the marketing side, the business side, Um, so, you know, in order for coaches to be more impactful, we wanted to help them with those, uh, particular set of skills. Mm -hmm. And that's what really coaches know is, is to allow people that have something to offer to the world, uh, to be able to put it out there and to be able to get, you know, testimonials, referrals, and, and be able to hone in on not only marketing, um, but the client fulfillment side of things, mm. yeah, most making important. sure, yeah, yeah. Making sure the customer experience, uh, is, is great and they have repeat business. And Much so, easier to keep a existing customer point. than to form a new one. Yeah. yeah. And it's, it, it, it's, it's mostly about client fulfillment. Like that should never get lost in the sauce. I mean, people get caught up in the likes and the follows and, 
and the the money, but it's like we're here to help people, right? Yeah, we're here to help people. And and you know, if you help people, they have no problem shouting your name from the rooftops. And and you know, the the time that you put into your clients, um, it really it really pays back tenfold if you do it the correct way, Absolutely. and you c- capture all the information the correct way too. Yeah, that's a big part of it. Capturing the information and just getting it getting it out to the right people. And getting yourself out as a professional in any sphere, I think, is really kind of the missing piece of the puzzle. You guys are going to deal with a lot of people as you get this off the ground that are probably really decent trainers. But getting your name out and getting just even baseline recognition in this business is the toughest. It certainly was for me sort of the last piece of the pie i'm still i'm still figuring it out but it, it's definitely it came from me after the school and the education of training and even after the experience of having trained for years the marketing and the outreach piece of this company was sort of the last puzzle that fell into place right you like definitely need to know how to get people from point a to point b mm-hmm. um in their fitness goals right but then also I mean, after knowing that, being able to implement it online and, and do your marketing, I mean, that's just, that's, that's just so valuable today. Yeah. So valuable today. And you can, like we've said uh, before, um, you can be the greatest trainer ever, but if no one knows you or you can't communicate your message or convey your message, then yeah. you kind of like, like no one will know, right? It kind of yeah. goes unnoticed, right? Yeah. fall by the wayside because no one knows you. It's really important to get yourself out there, get those systems in place so you can get your message out there. And do you guys also help with the the process of actually closing a deal? Like the, the marketing strategies in place, the maintaining the clients is part of the program. Do you guys provide, you know, I don't know, phone scripts or any kind of, you know, lead management for the for the people? Is that part of the program as well? Yeah, and so we've really structured our core curriculum, which is just one aspect of our total program, mm-hmm. um, so that these coaches can <laughs> kind of they can kind of build along uh, their business while they go through our core curriculum, um, and a lot of it has you know exercises that allow them to do these types of things. So yeah, yeah, absolutely outstanding. That's one area I find that is lacking for me is the management of current existing leads procuring new leads is today not really a struggle i'd say i get half a dozen new leads a day Mm -hmm. but following up with those leads or somehow funneling them into some kind of a repeat system where they get you know a text or an email every month or something like that like that that's that's impossible hard and in the beginning and now impossible when you get six new people a day you just can't there's no way and and i've with with where i'm at i've pretty much just kind of come to the realization that hey all right if these people are halfway interested they'll get here they'll meet with me face to face and then if if i don't close it then that's on me but yeah. the rest of those leads that i'm kind of just letting fall through the cracks if there was a way for those to be kept intact or a way for them to be followed up with that I could just plug them into, I don't know what you guys are doing with this, but if there was a lead management system in place, that would be hugely beneficial. You can look at, yeah, a lot of different technologies um, as far as a funnel and a lead management system. I mean, you use a Facebook group as a lead management system and and a funnel, yeah, um, and you can nurture those leads very well through the Facebook group structure because of all... Um, all of the different ways you can target and retarget people within the groups, um, mm. the the data that you can collect from them. Because Facebook groups is a pretty pivotal point, or that's a pretty pivotal part of coaches know, right? Is teaching yeah. how to use Facebook groups right. to manage the people that you deal with. There's you know there's there's a there's a few parts to it. Like that is that is one big part, but also like. You want to use you want to use Facebook because you know it has the most users, right? Two point mm-hmm. eight billion. Am I right? Is that right, Jay? It really has the most users. I mean, it's been around the longest. It's I guess been that around makes the longest, sense. and yeah. it has the most users. So, like, you know, you can you can get you can grab people from your personal page. You can grab your group, and there's no limit to what you can have in a group, right? Yeah. So, 
Um, it's really important. It's it's honestly really important to hone in on one social media platform for a little bit just to kind of feel it out. But then what you want to do, just like yourself, right? Mm. Now you've expanded. Now you're killing it on TikTok. Mad funny on TikTok, by the way. Let me, have, <laughs> let me just add that in there. Thanks, so then, like you're doing your thing on TikTok, you're doing your thing on Instagram, you're doing your thing on Facebook, you're doing your thing on YouTube. That's mm-hmm. what we're going to be on, right? Yeah. We're on? We're on. We're going to be on YouTube, yeah. right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're going to be on YouTube, yeah. So it's like YouTube, right? So like it's everything. So like you want to make sure you hone in on one, but then obviously expand. You don't want to have all your eggs in one basket, mm-hmm. you know, for lack of better words, right? You want to make sure you're like getting yourself out on channels and checking out how the other algorithms work. And yeah. again, don't get bogged down with the algorithms. Um, that would be one of my biggest advice. Uh, that That's what I would advise people not to do is like don't get caught up in that stuff because uh, if five people see it or 500 people see it if five of the right people see it mm-hmm. then that could be more business for you yeah. that could be somebody who wants to give you some sort of sponsorship that could be somebody that can you know that you can potentially you can change your life or something like that so absolutely um don't don't get caught up in the numbers don't get caught up in any of that stuff just just continue to do your thing know that you're enough and um just keep working show up because you have to show up right like yeah yeah Every day, yeah, and, and not all leads are the same. I mean, there's yeah. quali- there's quality leads, and then there's just junk leads mm-hmm. that you know you you don't have a good chance of ever speaking to, and they're they're not in they're not interested in what you have to offer, and so right, you know, <clears throat> even even in the paid strategy, if you have to pay a little bit more to get quality leads through your business because. Leads are the lifeblood of your business. You you have to keep leads coming through always. So the quality of those is is very important, and, and paying attention to that's very important. Hundred percent. Yeah, and to what you said earlier about the different platforms, learning as we have that they play off one another. Mm-hmm. You know, because we again back to what you said, we started with Instagram, and I didn't do anything else. I didn't do Facebook. I didn't do anything for probably two years. But with the introduction of Facebook, the Facebook group, the YouTube channel that's brand new, and with TikTok that's now about you know eight, nine months old, I've really seen all of them kind of grow together. But I like the point you made about staying just focused on what you're making. Mm-hmm. Just focus on whatever it is that makes you special or whatever it is that makes you happy to create just do that right. and if it's good and if you're true to what it is that you're actually good at then that the rest of that will come the likes and the follows yeah and of course yeah. P- people just get caught they get caught up they get caught up in all the other stuff it doesn't matter mm-hmm. it's just like it's like you have to focus on yourself right mm-hmm. like not competition like what is competition like we're in here we're health coaches we're like i'm not competing with you you're not competing with me and we're yeah. still able to just thrive right like oh and the the pool of people that deal with yeah. the health profession it's so huge it's everybody everybody almost everybody can or should have an interest in what it is that we're offering i mean in la it's everybody a real, you're a realtor trainer or you're <laughs> this or that you're an actor this is like it's like and i'm sure it's like that out here too right like you can't really get bogged down with the numbers or it seems like it sometimes yeah who's doing what you're doing or whatever you got to just focus on you and being your best you being your best self right like it's all a mindset thing right 100% it's all a mindset thing yeah and find your passion mm-hmm. find whatever it is that makes you feel like you're not at work that's what i tell people when i y'all train 8 9 hours a day but yeah. i don't i get to hang out in here it's like not this is not a normal yep. office. I'm yep. not doing a normal job. It doesn't feel like a job. So yep. to me, I, I wouldn't do anything else. If I had, you know, if I had ten million dollars, I'd probably, I'd still be doing this. Right. 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 You show up every day. And you sh- you show up and you and you get it done every day. Right. Mm-hmm. It's like people are like people like people see your social media. People see my social media. People see Jake's social media, and they're like, hey, like I just want to be down with that. Right. Oh, what's that? What's the one percent? Oh, I want to know about that. Oh, mm-hmm. What are you selling? Like, but th- then it's like, okay, cool. They want to get into you, but first they want to get into you and who you are, right? right? So like, people right. are buying you way more than they're buying like any product, uh-huh. right? Like, uh-huh. you could you could sell I don't know cameras, right? But if people like you, they're gonna buy cameras from you, right? Right? And we mentioned this in the in the first take on the podcast, <laughs> but how. When creating content, always to look outside of the box 
everything you do throughout your day as a, I hate the word influencer, as a person who is <laughs> online, right? Influencing through social media, influencer, is, influencer. You mean? Oh, you mean like think outside the box, is, like when trainers go on OnlyFans? <laughs> That's what you're talking about. Yeah, like that. Oh, okay. <laughs> splash, okay. splash, splash, <laughs> splash. <laughs> you know what's bummed? I was thinking about that on our way here. I don't remember the exact context of. <laughs> so, this is how we got into it. Where we got into that, we were talking about YouTube, and I was saying how kids watch kids play but then i but then i cleaned it up then i cleaned it up and i said damn it was before that it was before that that. was the second that was the second two or three it doesn't matter this is dang it facebook live has it yeah go on instagram it's on there splash but uh but finding finding out that everything you're doing like you just said you're you're selling yourself you're 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 Selling products, but people are buying them from you. They're watching your stuff because they enjoy what it is that you create, yes. whatever it is you do. And using other parts of your personality or other parts yeah. of whoever it is that you are, right. like painting, for example, like we said in the last well, yes, one, yes, again, yes, I can yes, keep yes, referencing yes. the last podcast, <laughs> but showing something like if I paint a model, if I am playing the guitar, if I'm doing anything that doesn't involve in training, people like right. to see that. So right. as content creators, if you are trying to come up with something like that, never feel that a part of, well, maybe not never, but most of the time, <laughs> don't feel like another part of you is not off limits right, right, and right, it right. can be content. Off limits, huh? <laughs> Send oh, always work on your edge. Yeah. 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 Gotta, work on, gotta work on the edge. Gotta work on the edge. And then you show up and you kind of continue to do your thing and you just... People, it, it's just you know, work hard, right? Yeah. Everyone, people think stuff happens overnight. Nah, show up, work hard. Be it a good does person. take a long time. It's a saturated market. If if, yeah, if we're talking to trainers or anybody in the health industry right now, it's everybody's looking for someone like you. Right. Everybody, there's so many people offering to do the same exact thing. So but again, is, remember, these are all people that we see in our our feeds in the algorithm like it's always it's like we're seeing all these other trainers all these other coaches out there like there's a lot of it's saturated Mm. but i think that like the demand like you said everyone can use a trainer everyone needs a trainer everyone needs a coach great athletes need coaches yeah so i mean i think the demand is there too i don't think it's you ever have this this is to to what you just said you know how everybody a, a coach is a total luxury and everybody could or should have one you ever have somebody say especially trainers like yeah no i'm i'm good i don't need i've had people reach out like dude that place is sick i'm like yeah you want to check it out no nah, i'm good i'm a trainer i don't need a trainer mm-hmm. I'm like dude i, I would love a trainer right, I go right, out, right, like, right. we were talking about going out to on it right, checking right. out john oh, wolf oh seeing his God. stuff i mean dude I, I learned from a trainer. Right, I, right. I wanted, when I was 18, I wanted to be a trainer and I thought I was, you know, whatever, a trainer. And then I went and got, got my, trained, got trained in, in the yeah. NFL for four years as the smallest and whitest guy there by about <laughs> 75 pounds. And I, I it, you just don't know anything. Right, right, right. So, you know, always be a sponge. Never close yourself yeah. off to knowledge in any way. All the best. Just continue to learn. Mm-hmm. All the smartest people in the world, the richest people in the world, most wealthy people in the world, they just they continue to learn, mm-hmm. right? And continue to build. No one just stops learning. Yeah. Right? That's how you yeah. kind of like kind of start to lose it, right? You stop learning, that's when you lose it. Right? 100%. You're either growing or you're dying. Exactly. And when you do something like this, and this would obviously apply to anybody who's that was a bar. dealing with their. That was what? a bar, by the way. You said you're either growing or you're dying. That was a bar. Oh, that's a like gem. That? that was Juju. I'm going to steal that. Okay. I'm going to steal that. I'm putting that in. That's a t-shirt. That's a t-shirt. <laughs> it shows up on Coach's No next week. <laughs> you're the grown or you're dying. You're the first or you're last. <laughs> <laughs> you, ain't, you ain't first, you're last. Well, <laughs> son, I was high when I said that. <laughs> Listen, Second, see, third, see, fourth. Strict Vision Athletics. There's no one. There's no one that is reciting Charlie Day. From Always Sunny <laughs> on TikTok. Coming to a TikTok near you. That's coming. That's going to be his next one, I promise we you. Do. He might get idea. the copyright thing, though, because it's so dead on. They might, like, copyright violate him. Yeah, they might like, just get you out of there. <laughs> I think that's the real. Like, I don't know. TikTok is the Wild Wild West. So I think you. I think TikTok they, is, man. The fact that they there is no. That's a good point. They're taking. 
sound clips from songs you, and movies and television. You can put it on other. It's it's. I'm just like, wait a second. But yeah. If, if Instagram sees maybe five seconds. Oh man, it's over. Of your thing, like Facebook sees one second of the yeah. not being your song. Dude, it's how off. irritating but is TikTok, that? TikTok, my well, stories get canceled all the time. Just because I got background music going on. I'm like, what am I going to do? I can't ask this person to stop listening to music while I film them. You got to you gotta speed up your video. It's a... 1.1. <laughs> I guess I do. Or take the sound off or put a song over it. That's a good way. You but, can put a music in there. You know what I mean? Look, look at this. Look, look at these help. Look at these ha- hacks. Look at these, look at these <laughs> hacks. Little, it, little hacks. You really should. It, it's not out yet. But when, uh, when we released the podcast that I did with Eli, yeah. all we talked about the whole time was just the little hacks in each one of the platforms right, each one right, of them because right. each one of them has specific little ways that organically you can grow a following or you know get more eyes on your story or like there's all sorts of little tricks right, it's, a, it's right. a giant it's kind of a extortion thing yeah, like it's yeah. they, they kind of yeah you have to know what you're doing or you're not going to survive not on yeah, not absolutely. well anyway absolutely but, you got to just keep working around it too because it's it is a program right you got to just keep working with it and obviously like we said before just don't put your eggs in one basket, right? You know, try and work with one, see how it feels, and then just expand, mm-hmm. right? Oh yeah, for sure. People, for sure. people go, people go to to YouTube to learn stuff, right? People go to Instagram to see stuff, right? So, you go to TikTok to laugh, go to also TikTok to see stuff, to laugh and dance. <laughs> and you can dance. learn a new dance. I don't know how much you did. you you dance a lot. Keep me away from TikTok. <laughs> <Please>. <laughs> I had no interest in TikTok. How about Chris Hansen? You got an interest in me? <laughs> Keep watching TikTok. <laughs> TikTok's listen, not for me. Listen, listen, listen. TikTok has something for everybody on it, though. But it really does. It's got a lot. It's, it has something for everybody. On I, was, I, was a I also don't want to give up all the information on my phone, so that's another reason. Another reason. China. I understand. Just, I understand. <laughs> Someone also told me, you know that they invented uh, Pokemon Go? Like the app, someone was saying it's like oh the you're perfect screwed. Way. You're, they're like mapping out all of the United States. Remember, people just walking around like, oh, here's my house. <laughs> this is this is this is the home part where I'm catching all the Pokemon. <laughs> See, and you never, you said you never got. Yeah, it. I, mi- I, I, I missed You didn't it. miss anything, man. Saying, neither one of you did. I did for a while, and then I had a pivotal moment in my life where I was like, yep. I'm literally just wandering around, <laughs> chasing things that aren't there. Jars are giant waste of time. So that so that Maroon Five video was like accurate. Wow. Uh, they were they were running around in Pokemon castles and people were trying to catch them. Oh yeah. Oh You're yeah, right. I do remember that. Do yeah. Remember that? yeah, it's accurate. It's pretty much yeah. Oh, okay. Like it was kind of weird for a while. It was really. I'm weird. actually kind of mad. I miss Pokemon Go now. Had a bunch of people out running around, running into traffic. People would run into traffic yes. to catch these like rare Pokemon. People were taking people were taking taking trips because they <laughs> thought a, a, a Charizard was in. I don't know. At the top of there were people. <laughs> There were Barcelona climbing mountain like m- like mountains here. There are people like climbing no, Camelback man. Mountains. They're like, oh Look, yeah, this is you, you get the mountain Pokemon up here. I'm You're like, just the next one to touch it. <laughs> go back down. Yeah. <laughs> Cold yeah. world. That's, 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 that sounds. That's, that's, I mean, simpler times, right? It's way. It, oh, dude, think about that. It was like before COVID. No, that was like the biggest thing to patronize was people doing that. That wasn't so bad. It wasn't so bad back then. COVID's aged everybody five years, though. So now it seems like so mu- so long ago. It also right? feels like we've been in it for five years. I know it's only been a year, but it feels like we've been dealing it's with it. It's crazy it's only been a time. year. Yeah. it's. it's I mean, hopefully it's Hopefully, hopefully it's, it's going away. Hopefully it's just done. going away a little bit. Just kind of slowly go away. At least progress in the right direction. Yeah. Don't go back the other way. I'm just ready to. Uh, what, 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 what's one thing you you want to do when you uh, w- when everything gets back, dude? I want to I want to get back and travel. It's yeah, my biggest you. thing. Is about I, to say the same thing. Yeah. I can't. I mean, I'm look. I'm not married. I don't have any kids. I could be going all over the place. I can't go anywhere because right. if I can't, I can't afford to get stuck somewhere. Right, 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 right. Can't have that happen to me. Right. You know, oh, you can't get back until Thursday. Well, okay, that just cost me four thousand dollars. Thanks. Right, That's right, great. Right, right, no, right. I can't have that happen to me. Not a chance. Right. So. It's kind of limiting. You're, I sort of feel it's. You feel like you're here in California, and that's it. I can't right, right, right. anywhere I can drive. That's right. what I'm limited to. It's bullshit. Yeah. I hate it. I hate not being able to travel. I'm ready to get back out there too, for sure. But traveling with traveling is just like tops on the list. That's that's tops for me. Go that's check, probably the check one some place thing. out. I need to get an RV. 
Yeah, you, just, you can go uh, anywhere. Yeah, you don't need yeah, to travel. Yeah. You, you, COVID be damned. You can go anywhere you want in that thing. Yep. No, that's that's the one thing that I really has impacted me. Because everything else, I <laughs> I never missed out on the gym. Right. I, I never wore masks. Wait, you, and you did it. You, you you didn't miss out on the gym. Yeah. No. No. <laughs> Bro, it was crazy. It was crazy when COVID hit. We were the only open gym in the maybe the state, definitely the valley. Really. The whole place was, shut down at once right and we had and this is what i mean catapulted what we did here. it's right when eli started here with me and it's it's i told him i brought him in the perfect time i'm like dude i need i need lead generation mm-hmm. or i need lead management because i can't we were getting i think we counted maybe 200 messages a day from people like, yo, you just working out you're and, working out working out well, and nine nine out of ten of them were hey can i come and like, can I just use your gym and pay you whatever, right. like a hundred bucks? And we're like, no, here's our, we just kind of, we, eventually we literally just started sending the link. We started sending the link on the, and obviously 90% of them just gone immediately. People right. are never going to, never going to pay even close to that to go work out. These right. are the people who trained for 20 bucks a month at LA fitness before they did this. But that caused everything to explode. Right. And from that, we you know restructured everything, restructured the programs. Well, I mean, people going from twenty dollars to paying whatever it was to go here. I mean, just like yeah. just like just like dumbbells went from twenty dollars to being a million dollars, yeah. right? You try to get some exercise crazy, equipment is like right? Bitcoin. We're, to- we're talking about those. <laughs> <laughs> you might as well put your money into workout equipment. <laughs> yeah. On the stock market. It That's is, not a real tip. It's I'm a, not a financial expert. <laughs> <laughs> so just, exclaim, this disclaimer. I'm not those, a financial but those, Wink, wink. Those on it kettlebells. It's nuts <laughs> right, what they right, right, have right. gone for. Right. It's, yes, your post. Your post. The post, I yeah. Did, did see that. That, that. that blew my mind. I didn't know that. On I post. didn't know that until I was sitting there on, on camera looking at it. I'm like, oh, wow, these are going for that much. Before or after the R and B pose when you were in the, in the before or after that. Yeah. The cover. <laughs> yeah, the cover. That That's cover. a good one. Yeah, the so many of those ideas are from uh from Eli. The right. kid has got a great mind. And it's really cool because Shout out Eli. Yep. Shout out Eli. He it's a cool collaboration of minds mm-hmm. in order to make the kind of content that we do. Right. Because it's got to be educational, but it's also got to be humorous. And the second one I feel like is a bit more difficult to pull off. Any any robot can memorize something or get something to you via right. the camera. But yeah, it's hard to make them both together. I mean, comedy comedy's hard. I mean, yeah. if you ask any comedian, it's like the hardest job in the world. Like you out there, you kind of like strip down to your vulnerabilities and you kind of trying to like push mm-hmm. something, but like dog it works i mean you you inspire me a little bit to be a little bit more out there on oh for real yeah you know of course of course of course i'm gonna get back into this sometimes on, i'm like ah tiktok i gotta do another thing but i'm like yo you yeah. know what let's do it like let's let's do it let's rock it, you it, know, so it helps it does it and really it does. uh it, it really does show like we were talking about earlier it shows a different side to you you gotta use you gotta it can't use just them, be right? it can't just be product reviews i can't right. just talk about the exercise equipment or as nerdy as I am about it and how much I love it, but it's, it, there's gotta be some more spice to it. Something that has oftentimes our videos have nothing to do with working out at all. Right. right we right. did, we did it. You ever see the Incredibles video we did where he pulls up to yes. the, you remember that one? Yes, 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 like yes, yes, yes. That kind of stuff like that, right. that, that, that kind of stuff. I think I like making even more than the educational stuff right. just cause it's funny. Right. But yeah, that's the stuff people gravitate toward. You gotta use, you gotta use, the social media platforms don't let them use you, right? You gotta mm. like, you gotta. That's a bar. Yeah, it is. Yeah, you gotta. There's <laughs> another one. <laughs> Yo, we, we be gotta, the algorithm. <laughs> be the algorithm. Be the algorithm. <laughs> you gotta like. No, you gotta use them because, like, again, you can get like. Again, social media is like another job, right? It's like another oh, job. My so gosh, like, like you, yes. You put in Seriously. whatever hours you put in in the gym. I put in whatever hours I put in online. Mm-hmm. And then it's like, okay, now it's time to pick up the phone. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's oh, do yeah. This, let's do this. It's like another job. So it's just like, hey, like you have to use it. If you're going to try and build out your audience, right? If you're going to try and uh, get some new leads, if you're going to try and make some content or whatever, right? Like mm-hmm. you have to use it. Don't let it use you. Not don't just be endlessly, mindlessly sw- swiping and seeing what other people are doing or whatever. Nah, use it for something that's gonna propel you forward, mm-hmm. right? Or like do some research. Oh, what well, this this that's the like it's a bunch of things you can do uh, with the social media, right? You just gotta oh, make yeah. it for you. So it, of course, so too you don't get bogged down and you get burned out. 
right? Because right, right, right. looking at a screen all day, you can burn out. Yeah. Right? Big but time. again, set some time apart for yourself and then also to get back to work because, you know, you got to show up. You got to just keep improving. I'm excited to see what the program does. I'm referring to yeah. coaches know it. I think it's going to help a lot of people, myself included. And if you guys can make something that will help bypass some of these long processes people have to right. go through to get, manage, keep, or convert leads, it will make a huge difference in the strength training community. And again, if somebody is stuck in the gym right. and they're maybe they're just getting started, which is good. The, the guy who's just getting started is in a perfect position because he's at the bottom he can start his social media tomorrow, and mm-hmm. he wouldn't have wasted his time. Right. He's ready to go. This Your program is going to really help guide him through so many of the trials and errors that I had to go through. I, just figuring out what works and what doesn't work and right. failing over and over and over, and then eventually kind of just finding your way. You know, right. home. It will. It will. It will be nice. To, it would be. It would have been nice for me to have a roadmap, and it'll be cool to see what you guys make. We're looking forward to it, too. I mean, we're looking forward to getting it out to the people and, you know, continue to grow because that's what it's all about. It's about getting better together day by day. You know what I mean? Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, we've had um, <clears throat> it, we've had a lot of fun, honestly, shooting a lot of our curriculum. Oh, God, the live. Doing banter. the lives. Yeah. Um, it's, 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 you know, and, and like you said, you have to enjoy what you do, and I think, uh, I think it shows, you know, when we go live. We talk to talk to people and uh, with what we're doing because I think we can. This course can be very impactful. I think for especially for people just getting started in business yeah. or people that have been in business and really want to take it to the next level. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, no, we're in the business of helping people. That's what I find to be the most rewarding about what I do is that it's not. I'm not focused on a dollar amount. I'm not focused on something that's meant to improve me. Mm-hmm. I'm focused on creating something that's meant to improve others. And right. I think that's the most rewarding thing, at least in my experience, about doing this business as opposed to others. And you do what you do in any industry to the best of your ability, but I find that health and fitness, whether you're a trainer, nutritionist, whatever, helping people is the most rewarding thing out there. Absolutely. Nah, you you you're you're trying to launch your uh, second career as a stand-up comedian. That's what <laughs> that's what everything from TikTok. That's what I'm getting from it, the it, vibes. It, yes. Don't be fooled, y'all. It's nah. a, it's <laughs> I'm a, joking. <laughs> It's a it's a cool way to. Yeah. I mean, I mean, you you saw me do that little the the sunny rant in the car. I mean, oh, it's yeah. it's a great way for me to actually take something that I weirdly know how to do and kind of it's make dope. money out of make dope. it make it's it into dope. a business thing. It's it's a lot of fun and it makes Eli. It's 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 cool to have somebody who has the creative mind to find these sound bites and make right. something to you like and then come to me and me to be shameless enough to be like yeah i'll do that no problem no problem let's do it <laughs> like i it's so it's yeah it's a it's a cool thing and that's that's really what i encourage everybody yep. out there who's trying to you're you're trying to you're trying to market you're trying to get bigger you're trying yep. to expand just don't be afraid to don't be afraid to have fun and be yourself with it absolutely yeah couldn't say it any better myself there well you guys Thank you so much for coming again. Thanks for having us. This is uh, take one. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> definitely. This is take two, and we've completed it. It's twelve thirty at night. We rock. We did. Good job, Good job, guys. Good job, Good job guys. Well, we'll cut it there, and uh, yeah, yeah, that was fun. Thanks, man. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this episode of the podcast. If you guys like our content and you want to see more of it, click the subscribe button down below. Or as always, you can follow us on any of our other social media platforms. Stay fit, you guys. Stay healthy and become the 1%.